Well, a great accessory to a beautiful outfit is our smiles. You know, our smiles are some of the first things people notice when they meet us. And looks are important, but keeping our teeth happy and healthy is important to our overall health. Here to tell us how we can do that is oral maxillofacial surgeon, Dr. Mark Stein, and he's the doctor behind the many celebrity smiles. The importance of having pretty teeth and a gorgeous smile, right? It's Instagram, social media, television, just in everyday life, teeth say a lot about a person, but why is having gorgeous teeth becoming more important? Well, it's really important in today's world because of what the pandemic has really done. What we've seen as an oral maxillofacial surgeon in New York City, what we're seeing is over the last several years, people are obviously affected by the pandemic through anxiety and stress. And a lot of that is really coming out during the night when people are clenching, grinding. People who have traditionally clenched and grind are doing so much more often these days because of all the anxiety that they're facing. And because of that, they're breaking teeth. So if someone has had a root canal or a crown on a tooth and now they're clenching grinding, they're much more likely to break that tooth. And we've seen an onslaught of those patients over the last several years, much more than I've seen in the last 20 years that I've been in practice. What's the medical term for the grinding while someone sleeps? So it's still called clenching and grinding. They are categorized that are, as what are called parafunctional habits. So habits that we are not able to control because they're done in our sleep. We do them subconsciously. So what can someone do to stop the grinding and clenching? What are the first steps? So that's an excellent question. So over the years, we've developed techniques in how to try to mitigate the effects of the clenching and grinding. Because it's a habit, it's very difficult to break that habit. Listen, we can tell patients to relax, to not get stressed out, to not worry about things, but we know ourselves it's very difficult to control and a lot of these habits come out at night. So over the years, we've developed te techniques using Botox. So people are familiar with Botox from its effects for cosmetic reasons. People are always talking about getting Botox injections to reduce lines, wrinkles, frown lines. But Botox has other possibilities for treatment. And one of them is injection of Botox into the jaw muscle. So we have several muscles that control our clenching ability or our chewing ability. When we're chewing, when we're talking, these are muscles that move the jaw. One of them is called the masseter muscle. It's a very large muscle that runs from kind of the higher cheekbone, what's called the zygomatic arch here all the way to the bottom of the jaw. It's a very thick muscle. And if you ask someone to clench their teeth, that muscle gets bigger. You can see a pronounced amount. So by injecting a controlled amount of Botox into a specific area of this jaw muscle, what it does is it weakens the muscle. It paralyzes portions of the muscle so that when that patient is clenching and grinding at night, they're doing it with much less force, therefore reducing the chance of breaking a tooth, of cracking a tooth, of doing damage to, to beautiful teeth that people have done Invisalign to correct and make so perfect. By reducing that force with which you clench and grind reduces the effects of the damage on the teeth. But it's important to go to a qualified specialist who's specially trained in facial surgery and maxillofacial surgery to know where to properly inject this Botox because if you inject it into the wrong location or don't inject the correct amount, you can cause a lot of damage, nerve paralysis, effects to your smile, effects to the way you move your mouth. So key is seeking out the right professional with the right experience and training. And such as yourself, Dr. Mark Stein, this has been incredible information to share with our viewers here in Miami on ISF. Man, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Have a wonderful day.